Holiday tradition kicks off tonight in Galveston. The 49th annual Dickens on the Strand will be happening all weekend long. So this morning we are joined by some folks who make it happen to tell us all about it. Good morning. Good morning. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We invite you good people of Houston to Galveston for the 49th annual Dickens on the Strand featuring noted author Mr. Charles Dickens! Yes! Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how Charles. did you not go in after the seeing that? In the house! Dickens in the house! Hey. Alright, so for people who aren't familiar with this festival, how would you guys describe it? 49 years of celebrating uh, family, friends, fun, entertainment, all in a beautiful seaport of Galveston. And this I fellow will know more than I. Oh, do tell. Well, it's our 49th anniversary. <laughs> we celebrate the first weekend in December every year. It's the largest fundraiser for Galveston Historical Foundation. Uh, we look forward to a really fun weekend in historic Galveston, surrounded by the architecture of the, of the time. And for our viewers who don't know about the foundation, tell us more about that. Sure, Galveston Historical Foundation is one of the largest historic nonprofits the United States. Uh, we have been fortunate enough to produce Dickens for an awful long time and it's one of Galveston's signature events that brings a lot of people down to experience the community and the, the Strand Historic National mm -hmm. Landmark District and just have a great time. Mm -hmm. Looks like it. All right. All right, now tell me how you are involved. So I'm, I'm the British Consul General in Houston and a um, big part of my job is promoting British culture across the United States. Well, uh -huh. the, the, these guys do it for us. So yeah. it's, it's a great gathering uh, celebrating British culture, history, food, not quite, but you know, we, have, we have some great fun. Now this is our 180th anniversary of, of opening the consulate in Texas, in Galveston, which was the capital of the Republic of Texas at the time. So for us it's a big celebration, mm -hmm. 180 years, and what, a, what better way than to, to dress like a, oh, a Victorian and take part. And I've been blessed to be able to emcee this about 10 times through the years, and what I love about it is you encourage people to get dressed up, right? Mm. So where can they get some, some, some duds to wear to this? Do you have a suggestion <laughs> for that? We got it. We, we incentivize it by giving half off if you come in in costume. It helps us set the scene for yeah. the weekend. Uh, a lot of things can be found at home. Uh, chimney sweeps, some very simple costumes. You can get as extravagant as you want, but you can usually find some really good options there at, at the house. Our website, Dickens on the Strand, has some tips as well if you want to go check that out and get your tickets while you're looking. All right, so kicks off five tonight. Um, what else can people look forward to other than these great accents and costumes? Absolutely. <laughs> so we've got parades, we've got special events, we've got six different stages, we have a new VIP area. We've got a lot of different ways to interact with our guests and with the community and with the with the strand itself and the parades are so magical Can't aren't miss they them. I mean fun. they're really remarkable I'm sure they can find all the times for that online everything is online at Dickens on the Strand. and I'm understanding there might be a chance of snow in Galveston this weekend do you think that's <laughs> going to happen I can guarantee snow in Galveston all right so bring the so, kids and 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 earlier my meteorologist was shaking his head no did you hear that right here <laughs> there is going to be snow in Galveston this weekend thanks gentlemen thank so much you. for being Pleasure. here thank you so much you thank look you. fabulous. Yes. Ready for it? Yes, making me want to go shopping for something. Magical. <laughs> <laughs> All right.